We have immense pride for our current Southeastern football team who have advanced to the state playoffs for three years in a row, but where did our determination come from? As we flip back through the pages of time, we find our answer in the members of the first Southeastern football team. My name is Stan Baxter. I was on the first ever um, Southeastern football team. Lived in the area my entire life. Got three kids. We all, all of them graduated from Southeastern. I'm Jim Strasbaugh. I graduated in 78. I was a freshman the first uh, on this first team, so I was kind of like these guys blocking dummies the first year. Um, been involved pretty much directly with Southeastern football since its beginning. I've coached Pee Wee football here for I've been involved for 40 years with the Pee Wee program. But I'm Mike, and uh, I've been married now for 42 years. I married a uh, cheerleader from the first football team. Went, went Southeastern all my life. Uh, after I got out of school, I uh, started doing driver's education. I did that for like 40 years. I coached for 33 years, retired in uh, the year 2000. When I left here, I went straight to Miami Trace and never left. Who got the team started? I think uh, like Terry Chenault, Jack Knoll, Henry Riddle, people like that. They're the ones that got the fundraisers and got the uniforms. They had to buy the uniforms, stuff like that. We had uh, one, of the, one of the things that really stands out is the, uh, the community support. They, it was like, uh, we need money. We need, we need money for shoulder pads, pants, helmets, blah, and the community just kind of went, okay, what do you need? The school didn't pay for the uniforms at first. It was uh, donations. Mm. That's it, got our names on them? Yeah. So we bought, but we had, the away ones were blue, they kept those. Mm -hmm. But the ones we got our names on, we all got to keep these, but we bought them before the season started. So that's what we got to keep them. They actually went around and took donations up from people. And literally, I'm not saying totally door to door, but it was almost like that. People pitched in whatever they could yeah. to get a football team going. How does it feel to be a f member of the first football team? It was an honor, and uh, it was something that I'll I always remember and proud of. What inspired you guys to join the football team? Oh, I know the answer to that one real quick. Shoot For me, just a chance to hit somebody. Oh, I always liked playing football. We played a lot of sandlot football when I was growing up, out in the yard, playing in the mud and stuff like that. So when they started the football team, I was real glad to get on it. With me, it was, I played some baseball, and I wanted another sport to play, and, and, it was, and I loved to play basketball, but uh, I didn't like the, all the running, you know? <laughs> a little bit I know, I got playing football, and I never stopped running. <laughs> I just kept on running. <laughs> Me, I was, uh, I just, I was a fan of football from the time I was seven or eight years old, watching the Bengals, watching Ohio State, and when we got a football program, there was, you know, just no question, you know, football, you know, football, you know, we was ready to play football. What made you decide to coach the first football team? So I knew something about the athletes. I knew Larry Jordan. I knew the, the success that, that this school had always had in athletics. And when the opportunity came up, I thought, you know, I've been wanting to be a head coach here. What has been your favorite memory? Our first touchdown at Piketon, going down the field and scoring. That's, I'll never forget that. that that's indelible in my mind. I got that, I can, I can see that whole drive in my mind. I can see those Saturday afternoon games. These guys out there sweating their rear ends off and busting their tail for me, I, I mean, there's no bad memories involved, you know. So there's nothing, nothing I would change. And One time we was coming back from uh, the Piketon game, and we was riding a bus, and we was about in Waverly, and a guy crossed from me. Somehow a bug got in his ear, went down into his ear, and we had to go out to the Pike County Hospital to get that bug taken out of his ear. <laughs> I laid on the bench for three hours with a broken leg because back then there wasn't there wasn't uh, um, squads or anything yeah. <laughs> anything that the games. My parents weren't there, and after the game was over, you know that that's when I ended up getting a ride somehow to the hospital. wasn't a squad, 
some parent took me <laughs> took me to the hospital and I was there most of the night, you know, getting get my <laughs> yeah, legs out and everything. <laughs> yeah, or no, anything like no, that. We had Randy Castle and he couldn't wrap that up. We, you we know, knew we, that we that had a box of band-aids yeah. and some yeah. gauze. Another experience was in uh, one game, uh, I got a touchdown and uh, it was new to the cheerleaders. So the Monday when I came back to school, one of the cheerleaders said that I hit a home run. I, I sprained my ankle once. My, I did. I sprained my ankle once, and Randy Castle, he I threw my ankle, he threw that. my leg up, and he wrapped it up and wrapped it up, and he just kept putting tape on it, and he kicked it off to the side, and he said, "Go." Nope. Anything you guys would like to go back and change about playing or about the football team itself? Not one thing. No, and we're all old enough to know you can't change the past. The only thing yeah. I'd, I'd say I'd change is I'd work harder. I couldn't ask for more or anything that I would change from the guys that played for me, from the administration, from fellow teachers in the building. They were all great, man, and, and supported us probably more than we deserve to be supported. And that, that speaks highly for, and it's obviously still going on. The community kind of rallied around us because, hey, they weren't expecting any of that. No one was expecting you in the first year to come out and win five of your first seven games. No. You know. No. Kind of an amazing situation, as well as we did and as well as you guys did for played for me. And I mean, I can never remember ever being questioned. It, it took off pretty good, didn't it? Oh, man, it did. Yeah. And it just keeps on rolling, and that's what makes me feel good about the the whole situation is pretty good. Something that we all started right. is only getting better. We are very grateful and have immense pride for our first Southeastern football team. They started a legacy of excellence and brotherhood for our football program that will continue on throughout the years to come.